Oh, by the way, another tutorial time. Ready for it? So to resurrect uh, a player on your team, uh, what's it called? I'm going to show you the footage after this. But the two locations for it are is this like little coffin area. As you can see on the map how it looks. It's this little coffin area um, where you have all these coffins. And it looks kind of like a, I guess like a, was it sarcophagus or whatever. This is our location of the altar. The other location is the cathedral. It's the it's the one with like the, a lot of chairs. It's, it's a very big open location. And when I do get there, I will show you. Uh, this is the second place that uh, the uh, altars are located. It is this cathedral, like I stated. You have the chairs. You have the little statue over there. It's a little cathedral. And you have the upstairs area as well, if I'm not mistaken, where you can jump down. Alrighty, now to actually resurrect somebody, you need to go to the uh, place with the soul of the character you want to resurrect. Uh, I'm not sure if you can resurrect enemies, I have not tried it yet, but I think you can actually resurrect anybody you want to actually resurrect. You know, it actually has to be someone in your squad. But, to get the soul, you have to take off um, the uh, chest armor, if they have any, and then the soul will be there. All you have to do is put the soul in your either your 3 or 4 slot, wherever your torches and potions go. And you equip it, and then you use that uh, altar. Now the altar takes about 20 seconds uh, for it to work. And when the person does spawn in, they will spawn in with uh, nothing. So it's good to pick up their gear because they will have nothing when they spawn. Literally, they'll be naked. So uh, yeah, that pretty much does it. And I'll see you in the next one.